The scripture is very clear about sexual perversion. The same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. In Leviticus 18, verse 22, Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind from the mouth of God Himself. It is an abomination. Burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that record. The same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. This is as clear and simple as it can be. When a man is with a man, it's an abomination. When a woman is with a woman, it's an abomination. I didn't write that. Their proposition, the controversy is not with me. The controversy is with the Word of God. Then the Lord rained upon Sodom and upon Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. And he overthrew those cities and all the plain and all the inhabitants of the cities and that which grew upon the ground. And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow, making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly, and delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them, in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away. And he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. 